Ladies and gentlemen, Clockwork here. Um, we're going to do a little episode, and we're going to go over multiplayer. Um, now, I do have some recordings of it live, but when I record live, it starts. It's get, it gets a little laggy, where my cues don't match up as good. So this is uh, Age of Vampires 4. Sorry. Hi, I'm your host. So what we're going to do, we'll start with uh, the 2v2, then we'll move up. We're going to do it in fast time. Not too fast, but and I'll go over some things that I was thinking and where I messed up. What? What? I just watched this. This was good. This one was good. Alright, let's do the King of the Hill one. I shouldn't have won this one. But I did. Okay, so in this one, it was a 1v1. It was King of the Hill map. Uh, just a quick match or whatever. I was uh, playing as the English, the Chinese. I was playing against the Chinese. Now, they did a really good job, which almost like kind of um, changed my tactic up. So, right away, I'm, I'm building a lumber mill, two houses, and I'm queuing up. Queuing up on uh, my food, and then, boom, I'm sending my scout around to get the uh, sheep. And then after these guys are queued with this... I kill them on there, and then I try to get, then I try to go after gold. But I'm trying to I'm trying to queue all that up, get it all started. It, I see it seems to be the best for the English for for what my strategies are. But let's go to the other guy, Chinese. Now his strategy was totally different, which was actually made me think what he was doing. He was trying to get to the next stage like immediately. So what he did was he threw like everybody on just sheep, which is a good, he didn't even worry about wood, he didn't worry about nothing. He was just trying to get that food and then he, eventually he goes right for the gold, look, right here. Let's go with, um, we'll keep it on uh, current resources. Alright, let's speed it up, let's do... Uh, Let's do reveal all, and we'll we'll stay on me. Um, so that's these guys. All right, so I'm I'm scouting around. He's scouting around, kind of just doing the normal beginning. But right away, you just want to want to keep it cued. So I'm starting to balance out right now. I don't have any high resources, but look at his resources. So he's already almost to the next stage. Here we go. He's starting to do it right now. Boom. He knew it. See, even before the 200, he was coming out here. So this guy's good. He's not He's not bad at all. He just had a different strategy, which worked for him. I ended up winning. I was. I think I was going to win either way. I just had a little longer, uh, a little longer to do so. Once I started, we, we had a couple good change-offs now. He was micromanaging a little too much where I I got a hold of him. But here we are, we're still we're still popping out. I'm I'm focusing on my meat. We still got our wood going. I threw one guy down there. Now we got five ten. Looking good. Right around here I start I try not to overpopulate because I wanna get that that second, um, second age. Here we go. Now I'll start popping out more. So let's speed it up a little bit. Let's check out what he's doing. And what I learned, what helps me, guys, is um, when you're working on your second deal. Build, build your second stuff like your blacksmith, your trade, your trade. And if you have a town center, if you're going for that, try to do that as well. Like build all the stuff you can. You know what I mean? So that's what I'll do. Because then you don't have to worry about it. Now you got a market. And I queue up these markets. So this is uh, my hotkeys, like nine. But I have that like to my mouse. So, as you can see, like they're they're getting their economy up. They're, they have more resources than me. Let's look at uh, income. 
their income's more than me. They're looking good, but they don't have their military buildings up, which isn't a problem. I'm starting to produce guys. He's just about to start producing guys. So he, we're neck and neck. Um, and he is uh, overseeing his lumber mill, so he is getting more wood. So that's that's awesome for him. Now I'm just keeping a scout there, just so I know when they're coming. As that's happening, I'm working on my food, starting to get back on lumber, because I know I need to queue up. Now I don't want to get too many military units, I just want to be able to defend myself. Um, but we, we end up kind of being equal. Now with the English having the men at arms, it really helps you out when it comes to their archers. But if you just produce spearmen and archers, if, if the other person has archers, their archers are going to destroy your spearmen. Alright, let's slow it down just a touch. Alright. So pretty much, I'm starting to balance out. Um, and I'm trying to keep... I'm trying to keep my gold up. I'm trying to get my economy a little bit booming so I can start producing more units. So I'm trying to get that balance. And uh, I'm starting to switch over to stone so I can just kind of block off some certain uh, certain paths. There we go. They start doing that first attack. And I'm starting to build my wall right here. Let's slow it down, slow it down. Okay, so I try to sweep around with the ones with my one horseman. These two men at arms, they probably want me to fight right here. Yep, them two men at arms. Look, they're barely, they're barely hit. I mean, their archers aren't doing what it, what they need to do to them. Their, their horses aren't good enough to do anything. Their spearman doesn't have it. So we got a little bit of a line and a gate forming right here. Um, I have this coming up. I don't know why he was sitting there. So what I'm eventually going to do is build this line right here. Build this and build this. And I'm getting the, that third age, that castle age with the keep. And going to start building my offensive right here. So let's let's fast forward here. Let's see what let's see where they're at, and then we'll fast forward. So there's still one barracks, one archer, and they're working on their next stage, which is doing their siege, which is awesome with um, the the Chinese. I mean that that's great a great landmark to get. They're cheaper units here, I believe. <laughs> No, okay, so it, it does with 50 health, okay, yeah, that's even better. The problem is with the Chinese, man, these guys are good once they're, they're, they're good, but they're not. Like, once you start having, like, armor, they're, they're kind of weak, they're, they're not as good as what they should be, and their cost is just too much. They pretty much, you have to get the gunpowder and you have to get their reason, you have to do their research for this thing to be really good, which it can be, which, which it can be. All right. So, yep, we're moving. We're kind of holding out. We're trying to get our food, trying to get our food up. And I think I'll start switching over with the lumber here. So let's see, let's see what happens here. And, and they, they branched out over here. They really took their economy to the next level. Which if you can get you can get a, t a second town center, it really makes a difference. But it all depends. Like you don't want a second town center when you're already like maxed out on your economy. So like, wh where where are they at right now? So we're about the same economy. Wait, no, I'm wrong. About the yeah, about the same. So 47, 47, or oh, that might just be me, maybe, maybe that's it. Well, oh. yeah, so we're about, we're about to be the, we're about the same. 
Okay, let's slow it down. Pause. Sorry that I'm everywhere. Okay, so here they come. Let's do this. So they came with their <laughs> catapults, and I, obviously I can't see this coming. But if you don't panic, and you don't rush, you'll be all right. You can you can take on stuff that he wouldn't think you could. Right when I saw three of these, I'm like, uh oh. First thing I do, move my guys back and let them just attack. And then I just start getting spring holds. Because I knew I needed to take these guys out. See, right now, building them. Because I know I need them. And, and then I saw his spring hold. So I'm like, uh oh, this guy means business. Luckily, I got these walls up. And then I'm, I am building. I was a little bit behind on my military. Now, I shouldn't have made this one move. So, in a second, I'm going to move my guys over here. So I just kept waiting by the keep. I kept forgetting this was a keep. I was trying to take out some of them because they kept coming. I said, they're going to break through. Yeah, right here, I knew they were going to break through, so what we did was start producing and just stay right here, get their spring holds, and I'm going to pick them off. I mean, the trebuchet is not doing anything, but that's okay. I think I, I, think I picked this guy off real quick. Back, pull him back. Yeah, I've got my builders to repair, and I'm starting to get guys up. My economy's not too bad. I felt okay at this point. I was like, I think I got him. We were both like, uh, it was, it was fair. We were, I mean, he's still building too, so it's not, it's not like he's not. Now my cues were queued, but I just didn't have the barracks. And this, I had to micromanage with their spring holds. I had to. If I had one more, it would have been one shot, one kills for these guys. Yeah, I felt okay at this point. That's when I started to keep building. Let's speed this up a little bit. Alright, so I'm starting to build what I wanted to build. I saw a pop shot that I could take. Is that okay? Now they're going to send up their little bit. But see, they weren't really reinforcing. But because they were spanning out here. 
so they kind of back off. That's all right. That gave me time to start building all my barracks, re redoing my economy down here, moving uh, some gold, gold production around because I really need to get to that that next age to start getting my farms up. Um, yeah, <laughs> this one was tough. Let's fast forward. Now, and then I started getting knights. I said, you know what? They don't really have anything that go after knights. They did have some crossbowmen. But I thought I had enough uh, knights that I could confuse them enough to take them out. And the men at arms. So I think I went with knights, men at arms, really. Crossbow, man. Yeah. yeah, so we were we were working. We were doing our thing. So right here, I think, triggers an engagement. They start seeing me building the wall again. All right, here we go. like if you panic right now so what I did was you know what I'm gonna go around so I'm gonna go up here and I looked at that wall too and I was like uh eh, that's lasting it's not a big no big deal but I wanted man they're just so slow I wanted to jump them And then right here just gave me all the advantage. Now I'm uphill. Now my arm is coming. Just going around. I mean, like, if I would have went this way, I would have been done. But now we're getting another castle up. So they run away. And I said, you know what? I'm gonna burn these guys and just have them attack. See where they messed up? They had a good, they had a good economy, but they didn't have nothing to keep reinforcing that economy. So they had their single stuff. Which they start, they said, oh man, I gotta start building guys. So we were kind of racing for that. Yeah, they're cannons. Jeez Louise, man. Versus armor. Yeah, the cannon like destroyed the Springholds. I I didn't. I I never really had a matchup with the Springholds versus the cannons like. They, they destroy them. I'm like, all right, I need cannons. That's what I started thinking. We need cannons. Um, and meanwhile, we're still producing farms and doing everything in the back, trying to get our economy up, trying to get to that next age. I mean, I'm really slack, and I need gold, uh, but I need to keep building units. They're killing me with their economy. They got all the gold nodes. They have like twice as many gold news as I did. Um, yeah. But I think by me having a hill right here, I wanted to keep pressure on them. I didn't want them setting up their cannons or nothing. And here we go. Let's just speed this up. We go, we go head to head. They garrisoned, which pretty much saved them. But 
But their cannons, I mean, their cannons just do damage, man. And I, didn't, I wasn't trying to spend any gold. I was trying to get to the next stage. So right there. There we go. Boom. I felt a lot better once I, I brought down the Vanguard. Alright, so here they come. Kind of just let whatever happened, happen. So we started getting up troops again. Brought everybody back in. Heal up, heal up. They got four cannons. I guess this is where he started slacking because, I mean, from what I could see at the time, I was like, man, I'm in trouble here. Um, but I was really, really pushing my farm, trying to, trying to get that, uh, that enclosure, trying to get all the, be all the bonuses and perks. And here they come with their cannons. I had nothing really to go after their cannons with. I did build a, I don't know, did I build a university here? Yes, so I'm building a university. I'm trying to get that uh, fire arrow up. They grabbed the gold mine. This was a killer play by them. I mean, they're, they're rocking it, 21 guys. I missed. I missed all the way up there. Here they come. Got enough guys to support them. I'm trying to get the vanguard up because they're so cheap. Meanwhile, I'm trying to save up for a cannon. I mean, one cannon, 600 bucks. Man, that's crazy. Oh, I did. Wait a minute. I did have a force, like a little force, I figured, hey, I'm going to go around back and just kind of mess with them, get their attention. So I think they thought I was stronger than I was, because I started messing with them here. And once their cannons started coming, I said, oh man, I'm not looking good here. Here they come. I didn't notice this right away. I don't know what I was doing. I think I was trying to group all these. These guys were doing damage. I was surprised I took this out, honestly. I was trying to get one of their cannons, but I didn't do no damage to them. I think I was building a cannon, but I was building it in here. So instead of going for gold, I started going for um, wood and, and uh, food troops, just to throw, just to mob them. And I had that fire arrow come up. That's when I think he knew he was in trouble. I was burning down his farms every year. I mean, they were just set to random. But then he hits me with like a good game right here. But like, his resources were fine, his income, it started, it started switching into my favor. Yeah, it just started switching into my favor. I'm starting to get the economy to be able to produce. I'm sure he knew I was just starting, right when he saw this cannon or something. 
because he really didn't have the building, the military buildings to back him. And I was just taken down his economy. Um, that's only that's the only way I think he quit. I mean, he was doing good. I don't I, I don't see where he wasn't losing, but he he didn't. He didn't get past my military front, so I, I think he thought I had a better economy than I did. So he probably thought, like, man, I'm not doing nothing to his economy, and I've already taken down some of his stuff. So I think he just thought he was in the back burner. But next episode, uh, I'll show the the Roos. Was it? Was it this one? No, it's not that one. Was it this one or not? Was it this one? That was the Chinese one, wasn't it? The one I just did. It's showing something else, I don't know why. Yeah, it's showing this, so get that. Anyway, yeah, next episode I'll be showing uh, where I fight. Yes, yes, it's an invalid now. Next episode, I'll show you some somebody I fight. So, uh, hope you had a good time. Yeah. Um, well, with his strategy, let's just go back to that. Like with his strategy was awesome. I mean, I I think he did very well uh, with his economy and push. I think he, if he would have had the military units, the buildings, if he would have focused that just like a tiny bit more when he was building those couple, if he would have just took that maybe five seconds, ten seconds to build a couple more, he would have been okay. Um, I mean, he had the hill. Now, I would have I would have pushed back on the hill and tried to get the gold because I knew I had to. But, I mean, eventually I probably would have took it anyway. Or I would have just kept throwing to the right to get his attention over there while I'm building up to the left and maybe would have just castle jumped him um, paid for a castle up there but I'm not sure um, but on the next episode we'll show a different uh, a different attack and a different tactic alright I'll see you later Sweet.